बराबर वेलकम रिग्रेशन और लिनियर रिग्रेशन इन स्टैटिस्टिक्स क्लासिकल अप्रोच आई कॉल दिस क्लासिकल अप्रोच बिकॉज वी आर स्टडिंग रिग्रेशन हैविंग टू डिपेंडेंट एज वेल एज इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल्स एट द सेम टाइम एक्स एंड वाई बोथ आर इंडिपेंडेंट एंड डिपेंडेंट ऑन इच अदर एट द सेम टाइम हेंस देर आर टू कोफिशियंट ऑफ रिग्रेशन now the properties of coefficients of regression and the very first property is the product of coefficients of regression is equal to the square or squared value of the coefficient of correlation the interpretation of this property can be thus the coefficient of correlation is the geometric mean of the two coefficients of regression let us check it the product of the co two coefficients of regression is equal to the coef uh, squared value of the coefficient of correlation how first of all by definition what is the formula of byx the coefficient of regression of y on x where y is dependent variable and x is independent product of coefficient of correlation and the ratio of standard deviation of the dependent variable to the standard deviation of independent variable similarly product of coefficient of regression of x on y where now x is dependent variable and y is independent variable it will be coefficient of correlation into standard deviation of dependent variable to the standard deviation of independent variable this is formula of coefficient of regression by definition okay now since all the factors are in multiplication we can cancel sx with sx in numerator and denominator and sy with sy as well so ultimately there is r into r that means r square so we can say that by x into bxy is the squared value of coefficient of correlation now if we want to find out the value of coefficient of correlation from this formula what should we do we should take the square root on both the sides the square root of this will be coefficient of correlation equals to under root the product of coefficients of regression multiplication of two factors and square root that means this is the geometric mean of these two factors so we can say that the coefficient of correlation is the geometric mean of the coefficients of regression so now number 2 the coefficient of correlation and the coefficients of regression have always the same sign negative or positive why by definition standard deviation can never be negative because the definition given by the great carl pearson is standard deviation is the positive square root of the variance where variance is the mean of the squared values of the deviations taken from arithmetic mean so ultimately standard deviation is the positive square root of the mean of the squared values of the deviations taken from arithmetic mean that means standard deviation can never be negative so in this formula the answer or the final result can be negative only if the coefficient of correlation is negative and we all know that there can be negative or positive correlation between the two variables so coefficient of correlation can be negative or positive so ultimately the sign of the coefficient of regression is directly dependent on the sign of coefficient of correlation so if there is negative correlation between the two variables the coefficient of correlation and both the coefficients of regression will have negative sign similarly if there is positive correlation between the two variables all the three will have the same sign positive by the word negative correlation and positive correlation we mean we mean that if the values of two variables change in the direction opposite to each other then there is negative correlation more or less change it is not necessary that every value should change in the opposite direction but 
more or less change in the opposite direction. Similarly, if the values of the two variables more or less change in the same direction, there is positive correlation between the two variables. So, ultimately, depending on the sign of the coefficient of correlation, the sign of bys as well as bxy will also be same. Number three, the, if the two variables are perfectly correlated, the coefficient of regression, one coefficient of regression is the reciprocal of the other. How? Again, what do we mean by the perfect correlation? Perfect correlation means either negative one or positive one. That is the value of coefficient of correlation. That is perfect correlation. But another way is perfect correlation means R square equals to 1. Therefore, 1 equals to Bx into Bxy will be the situation if the two variables are perfectly correlated. And so, Bx will be 1 upon Bxy and Bxy will be 1 upon Bx. Thus, both the coefficients are reciprocal of each other if the two variables are perfectly correlated. Number 4. If the value of any one coefficient of regression is greater than 1, the value of the other must be less than 1. Why? Again, the same thing. The value of R square can never exceed 1. Okay. value of R square can never exceed 1. So, value of Bx into Bxy can never exceed 1. Now, if any 1 is greater than 1, say if you are making calculations for a problem, and the first answer of any one coefficient of correlation, generally we calculate b by x first. You get its answer which is greater than 1. Now it will be a checkpoint for you. This property will say as a checkpoint for you. The answer of the other must be less than 1. So that the multiplication of these two, the values of these two coefficients of regression can never exceed 1. So, the value of any one of the coefficient of regression is greater than 1, the value of the other must be less than 1. This is a very good checkpoint at the time of making calculations. Next is, the coefficients of regression are independent of the change of the origin but not of the scale. Change of origin. What is change of origin? If we add any constant value to the original values or if we subtract any constant value from the original values that is called change of origin. Regression coefficients are independent of change of origin. That means if we calculate the coefficients of regression without change of origin and with change of origin for the same data there will be no difference between the two answers. That means the coefficients of regression are independent of change of origin, but not of scale. What do you mean by the change of scale? If we multiply or divide original values by a constant value, that means if the original values are multiplied or, or divided by any constant value, that is called change of scale. If we calculate coefficients of correlation for the same data, before change of scale and after change of scale, the answer will not be same. Yes, if we calculate them by multiplying with any constant value, the answer will increase by that number of times. If we calculate the two coefficients of regression after dividing the original data, original data by some constant value, the answer will decrease by that number of times. That means, the coefficients of regression are not independent of change of scale. Why? C. What is coefficient of regression? It is product of coefficient of correlation and the ratio of uh, standard deviations of dependent variable to the independent variable. Okay. Now, coefficient of correlation is always between 0 and 1 only or minus 1 and plus 1 only. Sorry. This can be any value. 
according to the range of the data. The statistical influence of standard deviation is greater than, far greater than the statistical value of coefficient of correlation. So roughly as a student, as an influence of the values of standard deviations in the formula, coefficients of regression are not independent of change of scale. I am telling this because the proof of this property is very lengthy and it is not necessary to learn at this stage. It is necessary to learn for the students or rather only for those students who study statistics as a subject of specialization in graduation or post graduation. Not like us who are studying this, these chapters as a part of any compulsory subject in grade 11 or 12 or graduation. Because standard deviation is also not independent of change of scale. It is also independent of change of origin only. Like that, coefficients of regression. Now, uh, last three are the properties of actually the lines of regression. But in many reference books, these have been given as the properties of coefficients of regression. That's why I am discussing or rather I am say, uh, stating these three properties here. You may or may not write. I leave it to you whether these three should be considered as properties of coefficients of regression or not because these are the properties of lines of regression. Capital R square that is coefficient of determination and simply it is the squared value of the coefficient of correlation. That shows the proportion of correlation. How much proportion of the uh, Observations of the population are exactly correlated according to our calculations. If R square is 0.75, we interpret that 75% of the observations in the population can be believed as correlated according to our study. So this is a very important measure. Coefficient of determination is same for both the lines of regression. In the next lectures we are going to discuss the concept of lines of regression. If coefficient of determination is exactly 1, both the lines of regression coincide. Yes, we can only if, if we plot the values on graph paper and try to draw the two different lines of regression, but we can see only one because both the lines of regression coincide. When the coefficient of determination is exactly 1, that means when there is perfect correlation between the two variables. If coefficient of determination is zero, statistically normally it doesn't happen exactly zero. The, because R square can be zero only when the value of coefficient of correlation is too small. The value of coefficient of correlation without squaring it is very near to zero. Then only the squared value can be exactly or too near to zero that we can consider it as zero. If R square coefficient of determination is zero, the two lines of regression are mutually perpendicular. Yes. So these properties can be checked only if we plot the data on a graph paper and draw suitable graphs. But first five properties are the real properties of the coefficients of regression. And at the time of calculations also these properties are or some of these properties are very useful as checkpoints or very useful as say steps of calculation or maybe some shortcuts are available because of these properties. And as a theoretical topic also these are very important things. That's it. Thank you very much.